This is W3XWT, Washington, D.C., signing on the air. Back in 1945, when Channel 5 first went on the air, the eyes of Washington were focused on the victory in Europe. Virtually unnoticed, downtown on the 10th floor of the Hotel Harrington, Washington's first TV station was going on the air. The hotel made a few rooms available for this wildly experimental venture, and after two short days, on May 19, 1945, the station broadcast its first picture and sound via this tiny antenna on the hotel's roof. Channel 5's namesake, Dr. Thomas T. Goldsmith, describes this historic first broadcast. So we have several slides, test pattern slides. So I took a uh, handkerchief and wiped off the emulsion and took an uh, ink pen and wrote, War is over on that slide, stuck it back in the slide camera, and we broadcast that message and picture. Once in a while we put call letters back on. And then on the microphone, we were announcing. But oh boy, in those days, it was a great flurry of television sets in Washington, namely zero. But pretty soon the phone rang and somebody down at the Naval Research Lab says, we're picking you up, our one fan mate. Channel 5's audience grew from that small beginning. So in 1947, W3XWT changed from the experimental call letters to WTTG in honor of Dr. Goldsmith. Channel 5 was the first in Washington to bring history-making events into our living rooms, like the Harry Truman inaugural. That same year, Washington's first telecaster, WTTG's Bob Wolf, covered live sports from Uline Arena. And Channel 5 was at Griffith Stadium when President Truman threw out the first pitch on opening day. This is the Dumont Television Network. 